Greetings, beloved brothers and sisters. There's an interesting process that takes place when you come up with a desire and then endeavor to fulfill it. If you use your usual method, you'll have an idea of what you want, and then you'll have an idea of what it would take to make that happen. And the way you pursue the coming desire is very much to do with what you value. This one is having an interesting experience in desiring a new car. He tends to keep his cars for a very long time. So he's looking at buying another car. And what he's seeing is that there are certain values that are coming to the front. One is, I need to get a bargain. And he's looking at that like, why? Why do I need to get a bargain? Well, if I don't get a bargain, then I'm a fool. And I don't want to be a fool. I don't want to pay too much for something more than it's worth. But that's just based on old experiences and fear, fear of being a fool, fear of making a mistake, fear of being ridiculed. So that value has now come into question. And then the next value that came up was, how much work am I willing to do to get this car? How much time should I spend on Facebook and other places online? How many people should I talk to? And how quickly should I get this car? When he really looks, he realizes he doesn't need the car at all. He just wants it. But there is no hurry other than what he's manufacturing. Got to have it now. Got to have it now. Anyway, last night, a car that he wanted that seemed to have all the features that he wanted came up. And yet everything about getting this car felt like a struggle. Two hours and 40 minutes away. Some difficulty transferring the plates. He couldn't find anybody who was willing to drive over there with him and drive back with the new car. But the car was what he wanted and it fit his pictures and it was a good deal. And last night he just surrendered to the possibility that this didn't feel miraculous at all. It just felt like a lot of work to get what he wanted with his efforts, his energy, and his cleverness, and his ability to get a deal. And the whole thing felt hard. It just didn't have any ease to it. And he paid attention to that and said, I don't want that car. I want it to feel like grace. I want it to feel easy. I'm, I'm willing to make effort, but I'm not willing to struggle. I am not willing to struggle to get what I want. That was a big turning point. This or something better, he thought. This or something better. 
what he's hearkening to at this moment is the desire for ease and grace and miracles and trust and faith and feeling good now, not when you get the car. Feeling good then too, but not waiting to feel good until you complete the transaction. This focus on your experience, this focus on the present moment, this focus on happiness for its own sake is quite different. It allows what you want to come to you, to make its way to you in its own time. And all you have to do is focus on the experience that you want to have right now and have it. Be fulfilled now. Feel good about yourself now. Trust that everything is perfect now. And everything is working for your benefit now. Because it is. It's a different orientation. But the idea of giving up struggle is quite powerful. It's not that you won't make effort, but it won't feel like struggle. He remembers a time when he was young, when he would swat at a baseball as hard as he could, trying to hit it to the bleachers. And that just felt like painful. But there were other times when he would just connect with the ball, either in baseball or in tennis, and it felt effortless. And the ball just sailed. And it didn't seem like it took any extra exertion. That's what is available to you now. Effort without exertion. Results without struggle. Acceptance of what is. And a willingness to be open to miracles as they occur. Enjoy this experience. I love you very much. And I'll speak with you again soon.